Hello and welcome to The Unstoppable Indians, a show that is dedicated to ordinary people with extraordinary initiative, people who are changing India. You've probably heard of ASAR, the annual status of education report. Pratham, India's largest educational NGO, conducts an annual evaluation of children's learning levels in India. The report is unique, but what makes it even more special is the fact that 25,000 volunteers from across India come together to assess the quality of education that our children are getting. Ninety-six percent of children between the ages of six and fourteen in rural India are enrolled in schools. The average attendance rate is 75 percent. 68.8 percent of children in standard one can recognize letters or more. 69.3% of these standard one children know the numbers one to nine. But don't start celebrating just yet. The higher the classes, the more grim the findings. 50% of children in standard five in government schools have the reading skills expected of a standard two child. This means that half of the children in rural India are at least three grade levels behind where they need to be. In maths, the situation is even more worrying. 36% of children in Standard 5 can solve division sums. Over the past five years, ASA shows a clear rise in enrollment, but that's about the only good news. On the learning side, what we've, the key takeaway is that over the last several years, uh, if you test standard one children in about October, November, in the early four, five years ago, we used to find lots of states which had 50%, 40% children not being able to even identify alphabets, leave alone other reading, or not being able to identify numbers one to nine which is an ordinary thing that you can learn in a kindergarten also. Uh, that number was very high. Now that has consistently dropped, but over a five year span it has come down by, I think about 10 percentage points. So it's a, it's, it's a reasonable drop. What that means is that the teaching process in standard one is getting better. But on the other end, at the other end, at standard five, the proportion of children who can read fluently has not gone up that, uh, gone up at all. It's been sort of flickering around the same percentage. Now that uh, sort of hides the fact that in many states like Chhattisgarh, in Himachal, in Maharashtra, in Madhya Pradesh, the proportion of children who can read fluently in the fifth grade, third grade, fourth grade has gone up. It, the fact is hidden because the more big popular states like UP and Bihar have not budged. The government can tell you how many children are enrolled in government schools, but that hardly tells you anything. Asar fills in the gaps. How many children actually attend school? What are they learning? Do they know basic maths? Do they know basic English? That is the kind of information that Asar provides. And it's able to provide this information thanks to 25,000 volunteers. If you're skeptical about this people's movement, here's a glimpse into the mechanics of it. Asar uh, to me is a citizens movement, although it's not that all citizens are involved. But if you look at the numbers, um, we have trained, <coughs> we've trained close to a lack of people in assessment uh, of children using our simple tools. Uh, it is not something that is propelled uh, by the government, it is not funded by the government. It is something that we as people have decided that we are going to do. And that's something that people around the world find unique.